Hi everyone, I'm Kim and welcome back to your Canyons News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. With safer at home regulations still in effect, many local libraries have closed. But a worldwide organization called the Little Free Libraries are keeping the pages of a great book open. If you're looking to catch up on some reading during your quarantine routine, Little Free Libraries are sprinkled around the Santa Clarita Valley, providing you the chance to get lost in a good book. The way it works is you simply arrive at a library location and choose from the books available. In exchange, you can leave a book to donate for the next reader. While some have closed their libraries temporarily, some choose to remain open and take all the precautions to clean and sanitize all donations before displaying them. Each library has a unique selection of books for all ages. If you're interested in donating a book or picking up something to read, SCV locations can be found on a map on the Little Free Library's website or on their Facebook page. Social distancing has put an end to many fun gatherings, but one DJ has taken it upon himself to continue playing for the public. Graham Silver is using his business to turn any neighborhood into a fun-filled street. Most of my events were postponed or canceled during this time, and I had to come up with a different way to interact with my music. SCV's newest driveway sensation has turned lonely streets into lively block parties while adhering to social distancing guidelines. Neighborhoods and families across town have been able to enjoy his music and spend time together outside. It's a passion and I love it. I've been doing it for a long time and just being able to give back to the community because people really do need to smile. Anyone that's looking for a way to liven up their neighborhood can go right ahead and contact SCV's driveway DJ for a free 30 minute block party. Local skate parks have closed, causing skateboarders to have to get creative. Here's Brandon to tell us more. As COVID-19 puts many lives at a standstill, the jumping, grinding, and bailing is still rolling for skateboarders. Nowhere. Because the Santa Clarita skate park is closed, local skater Donovan Rosales has been kicking and pushing throughout SCV in Los Angeles. No rules haven't really changed much of his routine. And if you just close off skate parks, people are just gonna skate like more property. I mean, with this, with all the quarantine closing, like now we can get spots that are like right in front of businesses and shit like that, that you wouldn't be able to get before. But skateboarders already have the reputation of hopping fences, skating in front of property, and pushing against authority. Rosales believes that these new rules are playing up that stereotype that was already there. What the city's doing and the laws they're passing, it's just gonna make that stereotype come true for people. Um, and they can view it however they want. Even if this wasn't happening, there's still people who are gonna have preconceived notions about skateboarders. Preconceived notions that come from not knowing why people skateboard in the first place. Why they put themselves at risk of getting injured or arrested. Good. It's different for everybody. I've got some like depression issues, things of that sort, and I need physical activity to, like that's the main outlet for it. Without it, it's like a huge detriment to me mentally. It makes the days like crawl by. Like it's just hard to keep on going. So Rosales and his friends are gonna keep skating. Because to them, it's about passing time and having fun. And it's hard to comprehend for most people. And just try to consider what like what this piece of wood with a couple wheels on it like means to someone and what they've been doing to like positively impact their life. For Canyons News, I'm Brandon Blight. Lastly, we would like to say a huge thank you to all essential workers during this time, especially our nurses during National Nurses Week. That's all we have today from the Canyons Newsroom. Make sure to visit our website at canyonsnews.com and follow all of our social media to stay updated with Santa Clarita's latest. Thanks for tuning in. For Canyons News, I'm Kim Kreischak.